The last quarter of 2018 was turbulent for the oil market. Oil prices rose and then fell. Production was increased and then decreased. The oil market was worried about supply shortages and then oversupply. In my January editor's letter, I tackle this subject as well as the U.S.'s role in the oil market in 2018. Today, I'm joined by Bart Cornelison, who is Deloitte's Head of Energy Resource Practice. Thank you for being with us today. My pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So we're here today to talk about OPEC cuts, supply and demand, and the outlook for 2019. You're watching Spotlight. So, Bart, can you briefly tell me what were some of the key factors that impacted the oil price in 2018? I think a lot of the discussions in last year were around politics. It's, of course, we've seen the oil price go up and down, but our perspective is really that we need to look at it in the long run, which means looking at supply and demand around the world, and specifically also about the economic uh, impact that is, that is happening in the different countries. What is the growth that we see in China? What do we see in India? Because that really drives the market. And that is less so affected by relatively short-term things like pipelines that burst and as a result of supply shortages. And we really need to look at it on the long run. And you know what we did see at the end of 2018 is OPEC did, inf is, did announce plans to cut production by 1.2 million barrels per day, along with its allies, yeah. to try and stabilize uh, the market. But it didn't seem to have the immediate effect that some were expecting. Long term, how can we expect this to affect the market? The new player that has come into the market, which is the US, which with unconventional oil and gas, they with relatively small operating units, relatively easy to turn on and off production, anytime there is a reduction in OPEC, it will be countered by an increase in production in the US. As a result, you can take large government-driven policy reductions like done by OPEC, but then there are small operators in the US that literally start producing. And so what are some of the key factors that we should be paying attention to going into 2019 uh, when it comes to the oil market and oil price fluctuation? What are some of the key factors? Now, of course, still, even though it might not have the full impact that, we, that the region would like to see, any reduction by OPEC will have an impact on price because it will never be fully balanced by production increases in the US or in other places. At the same point in time, the one thing to pay attention to and is the debate now around potentially growing, slowing down of the world economy and particularly spending in the US as big, the biggest driver for oil consumption is very much what happens in the US, what happens in China, what happens in India and in Europe. If that does not continue in the same growth track as we've seen over the last few years, there will be a slowing down of economic growth, and that will have an impact on the oil price. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today, Bart. I really appreciate your insight. Thank you very much for your time, and a pleasure to come. <laughs> so you've been watching Spotlight, where we dive deep into relevant upstream news with industry experts. For the latest news and analysis, head to our website, sign up for our daily newsletter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on all our social media channels.